in patchwork two players compete to build the most aesthetic patchwork quilt on a personal 9 to 9 game board to start a play lay out all the patches at random in a circle and place marker directly clockwise of the 2.1 patch each player takes a five buttons which is a currency in the game and someone will start as a first player on a turn player will either purchase one of the three patches standing clockwise of the spoon or they have to pass to purchase a patch, you pay the cost in the buttons shown on the patch, move the spoon to that patch location in the circle, and then add the patch to your game board. Then advance your time token on the time track by a number of space equal to the time shows on the patch. You are free to place a patch anywhere on your board that doesn't overlap all the patches, but you probably want to fit things together as tightly as possible. If your time token is behind or on top of the other player's time token, then you will keep taking another turn, otherwise the opponent will go. Instead of purchasing a pass, you can also choose to pass. To do this, you move your time token to space immediately in front of the opponent's time token, then take one button from the bank for each space you moved. In addition to the button cost and time cost, each patch also features 0 to 3 buttons, and when you move your time token past a button on the time track, you earn button income. Sum the number of buttons depicted on your personal game board, then take this many buttons from the bank. This is how you can earn more buttons so that you can purchase better patches. For instance, in this case, my time tracker moved to this space, which allowed me to make button incomes. I have total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 buttons on my board, so that I will earn 6 buttons and start using them the next turn to purchase more patches. This is a fantastic game in many levels. First of all, it's very easy to learn, and also it's super super challenging to think. It is a puzzle, it's an abstract puzzle, but it has an economy in here because you have to generate the income from your buttons, and at the same time, you have to try to minimize the number of time you, you will use. Time is a resource, button is also a resource, and this make your game really thinky. I highly recommend this game if you're looking for two player games that are easy to learn, fast to play, and at the same time, thinky, strategically, and tactically, everything together. This game can also be fun to play with your partner or your kid because of how easy and accessible it is. There's no language dependency in this game at all.